Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ma'bad ayyul ahabbati fillah Continue on in our dars in Shara Sunnah Lil Imam Baba Hari Rahimahullah Ta'ala We reach the portion of the treaties where Imam Baba Hari was speaking about Isa alayhi salatu wa salam and that this is part of the aqeedah of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah believing that Isa or Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam believing in him as a prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that came before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that will kill the Dijjal, kill the Antichrist and that Isa alayhi salatu wa salam did not perish but instead he ascended to the heavens Qala al-Musannaf rahimahullah ta'ala in the 26th point Qal Walimanu Walimanu bi nuzul Isa ibn Maryam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yanzilu fa yaqtulu al-dajjal wa yatazawiju wa yusalli khalf al-qa'im min ali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa yumutu wa yudfinuhu al-muslimun Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala said that a part of the aqidah or creed of Ahlul Sunnah is to have faith that in the descent of Isa or Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, the, salam, the son of Mer Maryam, uh, that he will descend from the heavens and he will kill or slay the Dijjal and that he will marry and pray behind the leader of the Muslims at that time who is from the family who will be from the lineage of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and then he will die and be buried by the Muslims that this is from the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah uh, the as far as Isa alayhi salatu wasallam getting married uh, the scholars say that there is no dalil for this uh, statement of Imam uh, Baba Hari Rahmatullah alayhi and that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem <coughs> about Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam that he didn't die and that they the Jews believe that they had slayed him alayhi salatu wasalam but in fact it was someone who resembled Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam and he ascended to the heavens and the Christians believe that they that it was uh, Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam who was slain and we already know the various some of the various beliefs that the Christians hold with regards to Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam and his divinity Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says Fi Kitabihi Al-Kareem Fi Surat Al-Nisa Wa ma qatluhu wa ma salabuhu Wa lakin shubbiha lahum Wa inna al-ladheena akhtalqu fihi La fi shakkin minhu Ma lahum bihi min ilm Illa taba'a dhan وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينًا بَلْ رَفَعَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم about Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam He says uh, And because of their saying as they boasted We killed Messiah Jesus son of Maryam the Messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him. But it appeared so to them the resemblance of Jesus was put over another man, and they killed that man. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture. For surely they killed him not. But Allah raised him with his body and soul unto himself. 
into the heavens. And the law is ever all powerful, all wise. So that's something from the story of Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, and from the aqidah of Ahl Sunnah is that Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, was not slain and that he was a prophet and messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and that as it was mentioned in many ahadith that Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, <coughs> will come and that's, he will descend from the heavens and that is one of the signs of the Day of Judgment. And also from the Ahadith is that Jesus والسلام, will kill or slay the Dajjal uh, in, uh, in uh, Damascus or at the Bayt of Maqdas. So Jesus والسلام, he will come and he will slay the Dijal. And as we mentioned, the statement of Imam Barbahari that Jesus والسلام, will marry, we have no delil for that. Also from the Ahadith, we learn that Jesus والسلام, will come and rule by the Sharia of Muhammad وسلم, by the Quran and the Sunnah and not by the, the Injil or the Bible. And this is also evidence that the Quran is, uh, that it abrogates that which the sh uh, Shari that came before it, the other Sharias or other Islamic laws that previous Anbiya were sent with, alayhim afdal salatu was salam. And <clears throat> those are some of the things that are mentioned or events that are mentioned about Isa alayhi salatu was salam is that he will descend and he will uh, pray behind the imam of that time who will be a descendant of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that he will rule by the Sharia, and that he will slay the Dijal, and behind the Dijal will be 70,000 uh, Jews who will follow the Dijal, be a part of his army, and that the Dijal will be slain by Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, and they will flee unto the uh, and, what, uh, and the other things that are mentioned in the ahadith about this. And one of the things that is very important with regards to the Dajjal and the coming of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is that these are aspects of Aqidah that we have to, uh, we have to reinforce that these are the creed of Ahl Sunnah. This is what we believe as Muslims. And we know the details only as far as the Nasus give us direction about these events. That these are signs of the Day of Judgment. We know about them because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prophesied them alayhi salatu wasalam. We know about them from the Ahadith and from the, from the Quran and the Hadith. The many Hadith about this, these events uh, are detailed in books like Bukhari and Muslim and, and Sunan Abi Dawood and other books of Hadith <coughs> and the Imams of Hadith uh, authenticated those uh, Hadith and so that makes those uh, Hadith a part of our Imam that they form our creed and this is why Imam Baba Hadi uh, mentioned this uh, these events and that we believe them because they are part of the creed of Ahl Sunnah. And with that, <clears throat> we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with ikhlas, with thabat, wa ilm al nafi, wa ruskin tayyib, wa amal al mutakabbinan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.